You've probably heard of the horror movie franchise, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Did y'all know that there's a lost Texas Chainsaw movie out there? It's called All American Massacre. It was finished, but never released, and is now lost. In fact, the looping video that I'm playing right now is all we have left of All American Massacre. All American Massacre was a prequel to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and a sequel to Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. It was made in 2000, hey, my birth year. It was originally a 15 minute short, but audiences liked it so much that it was made into an hour long movie. It was directed by Tony Hooper and would have starred Bill Mosby as Chop Top and Todd Bates as Tony Sawyer. The only reason we know this exists is a website made to promote the film. From what I can gather off the old website, the plot goes as follows. Chop Top has been captured and sent to a psychiatric prison where a tabloid wants to interview him. He would talk about the past and we would see a lot of his family members and maybe even shots of Texas Chainsaw. After the interview, Chop Top would have used the tabloid crew to escape and start a new massacre. An American massacre. Sounds like an amazing Texas Chainsaw movie, right? So what happened? The director, Tony Hooper, said it wasn't released due to money problems post-production, but there's rumors going around saying that the copyright was constantly changing and Tony didn't want to damage the franchise's reputation anymore after the harm Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Next Generation did. There was even a Kickstarter to help it get released, but it never reached its goal. Now, will it ever be released? Tony doesn't think the money will ever be raised. Me, personally, I don't think it will. Especially after the newest Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie did so poorly. Now, love y'all, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.